Professor Clements with you as we uh, do a little introduction to our course, General Astronomy and Descriptive Astronomy, covering uh, the history of astronomy, uh, basic uh, discussion on how scientists discover how the universe works, a little bit on the motions of the sky, and we'll cover the solar system, the planets, um, the satellites of planets, and the sun and uh, asteroids and comets, uh, various debris in the solar system. So our schedule for the course that uh, you may be a student of mine uh, for fall of 2014 as we uh, uh, go through week by week. I'm just going to quickly go through the topics that we'll be covering. Today we'll talk about the, the course and uh, uh, solar system a little bit. Um, on August 25th, 2014. Um, this particular course has lab that uh, meets either Monday or Wednesday. The lab will start in the planetarium and then after a little uh, uh, illustration of the sky in the planetarium we'll move down to room 8, the computer lab, and use the free planetarium program called Stellarium. I would highly recommend that you do a search for Stellarium Tutorial on YouTube and watch uh, a couple of those on how to operate the Stellarium program. This uh, program is not required for my course but it is extremely valuable and will help you learn a lot about uh, the sky if you're able to uh, install that on a computer and uh, and play with it, run around. Um, so our course uh, going through Monday, September 1st, uh, no class. When there's no class on Monday, then uh, the Wednesday lab does also not meet. So no lab uh, the second week for the course that I'm teaching here. Our first exam would be um, the 15th of September, to cover chapters 1 through 3. There is a review day on the 10th, and uh, we'll actually go into chapter 4 that's not in this first test. We'll go into that on Friday and then have the exam on, uh, on the 15th on Monday. Our second exam is October 1st, as we've uh, talked about the basics of uh, physics, because uh, force is a big uh, influencer in motions of the planets and satellites. Um, we talk about Newton's laws, gravity, and orbits a little bit, and Kepler's laws of uh, general behavior of the planets, uh, the tides caused by the moon acting on the Earth discussion of light because astronomers uh, gain much information, almost all information from the study of light from uh, from stars and it also has a role to play for planets and, and light from the sun gives us a lot of key information. And we need to talk about how atoms are constructed, how atoms emit light and absorb light. A little bit on the Doppler effect that determines the speed of objects. Um, then telescopes and uh, talking about the Earth's atmosphere and planet properties, planet atmospheres. Um, this particular year, the course I'm teaching astronomy, uh, you have to choose your grade option uh, October 8th. Um, exam 3, October 22nd, move into the Mars uh, after Mercury and Venus, Mars, talk a little about Earth and Moon. We'll be comparing these planets and contrasting them. And then uh, Jupiter and Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, the outer planets, gas giant planets. Um, the moons of Jupiter are especially interesting. Uh, there are moons, uh, natural satellites around other planets as well. And of course Saturn's rings, uh, very famous. Uh, some debris in the solar system. Uh, I talk about uh, that, but it's not on this fourth exam. It's a chapter 10. And chapter 4 will finish out chapter 9. Um, chapter 10, more debris in the solar system, including comets, it's formation of the solar system. There are many, many, um, and I can't give you a number because it changes continuously. Planets have been discovered around other stars, um, you know, a couple of thousand of planets around other stars. Um, Thanksgiving break, and we conclude this course with the study of the sun. And the second course that I teach, uh, Topics in Astronomy, will cover the Sun as well and stars and galaxies. 
And then the registrar is given this course, uh, final exam period Tuesday, December 9th of 2014, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So that's a little survey. I'm going to uh, pause now and uh, switch to astronomynotes.com. Astronomynotes.com. So in a browser, you should uh, type in astronomynotes.com. And you'll come to this page. This is an online textbook that's free and is updated occasionally. Um, you can purchase this if you'd like, but you don't need to. You can just read it on the web. But I'd like to go to the chapters listing here. And uh, we'll be talking about astronomy as a science and sense of scale, um, the scientific method, how scientists do experiments and uh, come to verify uh, those experiments and uh, develop theories and laws. Uh, a little bit on pseudoscience, astrology, that is not a true science. Um, what you can see on the sky with just using your eye. History of astronomy and Newton's law of gravity. Uh, we won't worry about relativity in, the, in this first course, but it's a topic for the second course that's very important. Uh, study of light study of telescopes and uh, the great tool that in, has enabled astronomers to uh, study the universe and then getting into the planets. Chapter 9 is a really long chapter in talking about the planets. Um, then we have a uh, uh, debris in the solar system and we'll move on to the Sun in this uh, particular course. So that's a little tour. You ought to go to astronomynotes.com and uh, verify all of this for yourself.